ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Stonehearth and the Nerds of the North. I certainly hope you're having a wonderful day because I'm certainly excited to be back. Things are going so well. We have rabbit people. We got we got members from Clan Amberstone to come and join the Nerds of the North, and I'm so happy. I really am. People have been commenting and messaging me and saying on Discord, like, why are you so excited about this? It's like you're faking it. I'm not, man. I'm so excited. I've never played Stonehearth like this. I've never played for the objectives and never had a, a proper sense of progression until I decided to actually progress, which is a lot of fun. Now, today, today, I want to go ahead and get a new job into... I guess the nerds of the north. We don't actually have a shepherd yet, and to get a shepherd, we need to get a trapper to, well, become a shepherd. So we have Hank Odinson right here, who I believe is the only trapper that we have. So Hank, you are gonna go change jobs, and you are gonna become, you're gonna become a shepherd, bud, is what you're gonna do for me. So go pick up the shepherd's crook, do your thing, and we're gonna have to get you some farms. Now, obviously, I would still really like to get the Geomancer, and we're still working towards that. Between episodes, I actually got a little notification here where we need to get the Airbloom stalks if we want to uh, send that stuff back to the rabbits. So, at some point, this right here is going to need to be harvested, which I guess it's currently unripe, so I guess there's still time to go there. But there we go. We have our level one Shepherd. Let's see what we can do here. So... We can go ahead and get an animal pasture. I think the first thing we want to do is probably get another trapper. So we'll go for Luna Ice Wolf. You are going to become a trapper. And we'll let you go do your thing. In the meantime, we do need to figure out how the shepherd is going to work. And I'm kind of thinking that maybe the shepherd could have some fields out here. Obviously, we have this space up here, or we could cut into the trees a little bit. I don't know if I want to cut into the trees, though. So I think, for the time being at least, we're going to have the shepherd sort of just work out here. Now, how big can a field be? A field can be 50 by 50, okay. We can have sheep, we can have rabbits, we can have chickens. I think we'll start, we'll start with sheep. And we'll go to town on that. And then over here, we'll get, I guess some rabbits, and then maybe down here we can do some chickens? It won't actually let me go the full way across, that's a shame. Okay. I guess over on this side we'll go... We'll go chickens. So there we go. We'll get all that done, we'll see how that works out. Obviously the fields could be a little better than they are right there, but I just want to see how the shepherd works. I want to get things set up initially, and then we'll go from there. I'll get the shepherd some proper fields, eventually. And I'm kind of looking at this and thinking that considering we have a bunch of trees in here that don't really match the ones that I've placed, it might not be a terrible idea to at least put one field back here, but oh, you know what? Let's do it. Let's just, let's just go for it. Let me tear some of these trees out. So all of these trees kind of need to go. These trees down here kind of need to go and they're replaceable. It's fine. We can replace all of these. So we can tear those out. We can tear those out. Those need to go, and those need to go up to about there, I think. These ones in the middle need to go, these ones on the side need to go. And then up here as well, I guess we'll just go ahead and tear all of it out. And I can probably make it look better anyway, to be fair. I think my trees look better than the ones that were here, you know, in the base game or whatever. I say base game like I'm modding at this point. That's not at all what I mean. Uh, but there we go. I think that'll be pretty much all of them removed that I, I don't want in there. So we'll see how that plays out. My halflings will probably take their time on that because they are doing some construction and they are doing some mining as well. They're actually nearly done with the current mining task, which is beautiful news. So we'll let them continue that. And then I guess we can move our shepherd stuff over there. There is still more construction to do, just FYI. We do have this building here, which I believe is the engineer workshop. And then we have another little cozy stone cottage, so it's not like we're anywhere near, anywhere near done with construction, but we're getting there, and I know I say that a lot. I think every episode it's like, oh, we've got one more thing to build, and then we're done. I maybe mean it this time, because I don't know if there's much else that we 
actually need. Although I guess we could get a farmhouse. I guess that's technically a thing. Town items are full. That's not good. I'll tell you what I also haven't done. And I've just realized this. I don't think this bed is assigned to anybody. So what we need to do is give it to that farmer. And we need to give the other farmer the other bed. Because that was the point. That was that was why we had these, these little houses down here. Because it gives the farmers somewhere to sleep, considering, you know, they're the ones that work down here all the time. Uh, but considering the town items are full, let's go ahead and say that we want to call a merchant. Interesting. I don't think there's... What is this? Worker finery. Fashionably improves worker speed and efficiency. I kind of want it. I do kind of want it, but I also kind of want to sell some things here because apparently we have way too many things. So... What can I sell is the question. Because we have a lot of crafted items. I guess we have a lot of copper ore. We could probably sell like... I don't know, 50 of that. We'll sell one of those. We have... Not actually got all that much stone, which is kind of annoying. We have a lot of trees. We'll sell those. Even though we kind of need some of them at some point, we'll sell them anyway. Because, again, just don't need them right now. And I think that should keep us good. That'll clear out the town items a little bit. Uh, the trees are going very slowly. That's probably because I had the game running at no... Actually, you know what? In saying that, they are... They're actually going at a pretty reasonable pace. So fair play to them. We'll let them do their thing. Uh, where is the shepherd? That's my question. What are you up to at the minute there, bud? Shearing sheep. We have sheep, apparently. Where are you, uh, where are you going there, fella? I can hear a sheep. I don't see a sheep. Running through the trees. I have no- Where's the sheep, man? Okay, you're going that way. You're going all the way down here. Where is the sheep? Where is he going? Oh, there it is. Why is the sheep down here? That seems like an all harvest for meat. Oh my god! I don't want to kill it. I well, and saying that, it is probably a good way to. Uh, it's probably a good way to get some meat, isn't it? Still, oh my god! I don't want to kill it. Also, I hear a building complete. I think this one's done. It absolutely is. So let's go ahead and say we want to build the one behind it. And then I can build a road around in front of it and we can go from there. And then this thing over here can be built at some point too. Uh, now let's see here. Are these... They're still unripe. Okay. I think we're going to be waiting a little while for the air bloom unless it wants to ripen before my eyes. But I don't think... I don't, I don't think it's going to do that. I don't think it's going to do that. Daily updates here. Wait, I... I can accept another hearthling. Can I? I can... Excuse me? Hold on a minute. 32. Wait a minute. I can disable inventory. I don't know if I want to do this. Oh, whatever. We'll do it. It's fine. It's fine, I'm sure. Uh, 32 hearthlings is apparently the max, even though I could swear I set it to 31. I don't know. Apparently we've got 32 hearthlings now. That's... That's a whole thing. That is... That is apparently a whole thing that I... Didn't even know about. Alright. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, my farmers. What are you guys... Okay, so you guys are... Are focusing on down here. I feel like we could do with another farmer. I honestly feel like another farmer wouldn't be a terrible idea. Good lord, your... Spirit is... Is seven. You've got seven in terms of crafting. I mean, anyone have, like, seven body? Yeah, some of you do. Interesting. Okay, well, I'll tell you what, Roan. You are gonna become a farmer. Is what you're gonna do. And anyone here gonna be good for fighting? I mean, probably Erica. We'll let you go and become a an archer. Because I think another archer could be a good idea. And apparently most of the trees are done here as well, which is great news. The game is definitely lagging. I'm noticing uh, a lot more stuttering now that I've turned off that limit, though, so we might want to uh, 
we might want to turn that back on. We we definitely might want to turn that back on. I think I'll go in and do that right away. Because uh, it's not... It's not having a good time. There we go. Do I want to discard unsafe changes? No. Let's hit OK and resume. All right. So we should... Where am I... I'm hearing fighting. Oh, it's over here. Can we... Can we maybe send some people around there to deal with that? I feel like that's not a terrible idea. So we'll head over there and see what happens. The big golem thing's dead. Those guys have been injured. And I mean... The, the fighters are just standing there. Can I tell them to go attack that specifically? Again, just... Just standing there. Do you guys not... Wanna do your job? Can you... Can you go there? No. Okay. They... Oh, no, there they go. Well, some of them. Alright, what if I say go... Attack over there. Nope. Okay, that's weird. I guess just cancel whatever orders you had and just do whatever you want. Oh, no, you are... Where are you going? I don't even know what they're doing. The game is really, really struggling right now. It's really having a rough time. You're doing some hauling, apparently. All right. I'm just going to let them do whatever they want to do. The whole thing's being weird. What the... Oh, no. Are you stuck up there? I think Grace the Cougar might be stuck. Can we... Can we fix that? Like, if I move that, can Grace get done? Is that... Is that a thing we can do here? A colony of rabbits is heading towards the farm. That's fine. That's not a big deal. There we go. So move that. Hey! Grace is free. Alright. So we'll put that, if I can, back there. There we go. And hopefully Grace doesn't get stuck, which... She seems alright. Alright, so Grace is... Potentially hungry, but other than that, she'll be fine. Assuming she can get out of there, which... Don't know if she can. Really not sure on that. Anyway, now that most of the trees are gone, is it possibly worth me going through and placing a whole bunch more of them? Although the, now the menu is being weird. Man, this game, as much as I love it, and I really do, it really doesn't love me right now. I don't think it likes what I'm, what I'm doing here. Anyway, let's see if I can just uh, place, you know, a good hundred trees here to make this area look a little better. Oh, that's not good. That's all sorts not good right there. Luna! Luna, why- Why were you up there, Luna? Luna! Oh no! Red Team doesn't like to do anything, Luna! You probably killed yourself! Red Team! Red Team! Go! Save Luna! Oh no. Oh, don't you go up there. Don't you go up there to rescue Luna. Don't you do that. You're gonna- the farmer's leading the charge, man. That's not gonna end well. Hold on, I think they've got clerics. Focus on the clerics. Kill the cleric. Right, that's one and then the other. Kill the other cleric. Or the game will freeze and this will all look very strange. There we go. Kill the other cleric. Or don't. I said kill the cleric. Come on, man. There we go. Right, focus on all the rest of them. Alright, job done. Good lord, man. We obliterate everything. Look at this nonsense. There we go. Alright, the farmer's just cheering us on, which is great. Um, apparently, is that one of our raccoons right there? You. Generosity was sleeping during all of that. But there we go. Luna has been saved. Which is great. A uh, bit of fighting going on down here, apparently. Looks like that's gonna... Very much go our way, which is all right. There we go. Job done and job done. All right. Luna has been saved. Assuming she can actually get healed up. What I do want to check, though, is actually the progress of... Not the multiplayer menu. Uh, not the multiplayer menu. Close, please. Thank you. Uh, this. Still not done. Interesting. 
Is the air bloom just- oh. Right, okay. So the time items are full again. That's not good. Because we need that air bloom. Hold on. We're gonna have to turn off the, uh, the limiter. We're gonna have to turn this off because if I don't, I'm not gonna be able to get the air bloom, which we kind of really want. So there we go, we're harvesting it. Which is fantastic news. Uh, let's take a little look here and see how that's going. Or not. Oh, there we go. Hold on, no. We have one. That's a start at least. We might be able to get more at some point. I guess the real question here is can I maybe sell more than I... than I think I can? We need a trader, right? We need someone that can come by with stuff and let us sell stuff. Now, we're not using these giant bone axes. We're not using these giant bone maces. We have the bunker, which I don't think we're going to use either, but I kind of like the name of it, so we'll keep it. We have a bunch of these storage chests that I don't think we're going to be using. We have a bunch of these lights. I don't know if we're even using those, but probably worth keeping. Uh, we can sell the venison. Honestly, we can probably sell some of those beds as well. We can probably sell 10 of those. We... Honestly, I might just sell these copper ingots because we can make more of them. And, I mean, in terms of silver as well, I guess sell all of that. Or sell some of it. There we go. That'll, that'll do us a favor. We haven't sold everything, and what we have sold we can make more of if we need it, so... We should be fine. We should be fine. Let's have a look here. Air Bloom donation. Zero! Great. Just great. Let's see if we can, uh... I guess we have to wait for it to go into storage or something. I would assume, because that looks... It looks like there's a lot of it lying around there, so I guess it does have to go into storage somewhere. Yeah, there we go. So I guess give that five minutes and all should be good. Norm's here. What do you want, Norm? Heard a caribou is headed towards the farms. Excellent. Okie dokie. So that's all looking... That's all looking like stuff I don't really care for. Uh, the caribou will probably be dealt with. Construction here has gone kind of slow. We need stone, apparently. Are we... Are we out of stone? There's no way we're out of stone, right? Like there, there is no way we are. We don't have stone, right? Autonomous cricket golem. I think. I think that's the one running around. Yeah, we've got a lot of stone. We're fine. I was really worried for a second there that we might have run out. Let's see. Two of ten. I guess we're just waiting and hauling being done, which I guess the little golem will do at some point. Oh, also the trees. Totally forgot about these. So, what we can do here, I think, is go ahead and say that we'll have a field pretty much right in the middle of all of this. So, I think a field like there, even though it's not a, a perfect size, we can do a field there and that can be for sheep. And then we could do a field down here. And that can be for rabbits. And then up here, we can do something for chickens. So something kind of like that for chickens. And I can surround those in more trees, which will be fantastic to do because it'll look a lot better. We can also go ahead and remove the fields that we have over here. And yeah, just place down a bunch more trees if we have any, which we do not currently. So that's fine. So yeah, that'll be our farms. They'll be nicely surrounded in trees, which will grow and Sort of enclose them a little bit and make them look better, I think. And I'm kind of looking forward to that, honestly. I think it's going to look really, really good. I do think that's going to look really, really good. And I think it's going to look a lot better than the trees that we had in there before, which didn't really match the forest that we had going on, which... I just love it, man. I really, I really love how all the trees have turned out here. I think it looks so good. Uh, now, let's see. How's this going? If it would let me, uh, let me click it. Oh, 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 good lord. Uh, can I... I need this. I need to click the donation. It's taking its time. 
It's really struggling. Apparently, oh, five. Not bad. Not bad. I'm kind of surprised it's taking this long to uh, haul everything and harvest everything, considering I think we have three farmers and one cook, but fair enough. Fair enough, I suppose. Oh, they're all down here. Okay. I mean, you guys could have stayed on the air bloom to finish it, and it probably would have been a lot more efficient, but, you know, to each their own. Uh, now, we have a feral wolf out here. Can I get Rad Team out here to deal with that? If they wouldn't mind. I don't even know if they will. We're gonna have to sort of just keep an eye on the trees and see if at any point we see Rad Team just blast out of the tree line. Oh, no, that's a farmer, I think. No, those are people hauling things around. There they are! <laughs> don't know why they're coming from that direction, but there they are. That looks ridiculous. That looks ridiculous, just seeing them all run out of the tree line like that. Don't get me wrong, I love it. But it looks ridiculous. <laughs> there we go. And then just back into the trees. You wouldn't even know there was a town in there, man. You just look at it, it's a super dense forest, you wouldn't even know. And then you sort of come around here and it's like, oh, what's this, a path? Oh, it leads somewhere, there's rabbits on it. Oh, it looks so good in here. There's a rabbit person. And then you come in and it's just like a full little village. It's so good, man. Oh, the building's done. Fantastic. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and get a path that leads up to that while we're here. So we'll go ahead and do four. And I actually want to do this one a little bit differently just because I think, you know, it's, uh, it's a little bit more of a custom path. So we'll bring it sort of there. And we'll take it at a little bit of an angle here. Let's just undo that real quick to make sure it looks proper. So to there, and then straight down to, uh, to about there. So it just curves around a little bit, gives us some room here for like a park or something like that. We could totally do a park here, actually. And I think I might, just because, you know, why not? We're here. Uh, so let's go for some comfy park benches. Since those are probably going to be quite popular. So we'll do a couple of them, couple there. And we could do another one there. And then I'd kind of like to see if we can get some bushes or something. Or just, just something I can put around here that looks like it's... I guess like a, a bird bath. Could go there. And in terms of anything else, I, I don't really see anything. We have got some proper decorations though, so I guess we could do... I'd love to get a proper rustic lamp post in here, but I don't think that's going to be a thing. I don't know if we want... I don't know how crazy we want to go on this. I think a cobblestone fence post in the corner for a start. And I think... Maybe some cobblestone fences... That come out like this. So there... And there... And on this side as well. And then I think just a couple of pillars. I don't think I want to do like a proper gate on this. So we'll do like a little space of four there. Do that and do a space of four. And then we'll just sort of block this up a little bit. Up to about there should do it. And I think we'll do the same on this side as well. We'll just go for something a little bit like that. With a post right at the end. And I think that's quite simple. I think that does all it needs to do. Uh, we could put one of these things in the corner as well, which might actually look kind of neat. Maybe a little bit imposing, but I, I kind of like it. I kind of like it. I think it'll work. It'll add a little bit of light there. And I guess what we could also do is put one of the rustic lamp posts right there. Which, I would love to get some of these through the town, actually. Let's try and get one over here as well. And maybe... Here as well. I think that'll look pretty good. We could try and get some over there, but I don't think we'll bother. Uh, I think we could maybe do with one right there. And let's hit build before I get a little bit too carried away there. So we'll get that built. 
And we do actually need a road over here as well. So let's go ahead and say that we want to do that super quickly, which is just going to be right there. Alrighty. So that can all get built. Shouldn't take too long. It's mostly just placing items. So I assume they can do that really, really quickly. As for the quest that we're on, are we done yet? Are we there yet? A great movie. Highly underrated. Wait. Is our- hold on. Is are we- are we there yet? Are we there- no, it's are we done yet? Are we done yet? Hold on, I'm googling this. You might be able to tell. Does that movie have- I know it's got Ice Cube. Yeah, John C. McGinley. I love him, man. He's such- like, he play. it was Dr. Cox in Scrubs. I'll, he's so good. He's hilarious, man. I want to see him in more stuff. I really want to see him in more stuff. Anyway, if we if they wouldn't mind, you know, hauling the air bloom stocks, that'd be great. Feels like they're really just dragging this out, man. They're really, really just dragging this whole thing out. If they could, uh, if they could hurry up, that'd be fantastic. Hey, there we go. The air bloom stocks are ready to go. Let's complete it. Air bloom donation. Thank you. My respect for you humans continues to grow. Farewell for now. He wanders off, mumbling to himself. Hmm. I can't imagine my warren will be upset if one or two are missing from the bundle. Rabbit reputation increases. Fantastic. I'll tell you what we're going to do, though. I'm going to remove the uh, the air bloom plots from just here. Because we have a building that needs to be built there, and I'd kind of like to do it. So, uh, build. Let's get that done. And uh, let's also lay out another farm plot just back here. Going to be a... Uh, 11 by 11. We are going to do more air bloom. But we'll just build it. We'll just grow it up here instead of where it was before. And maybe we'll grow a little bit more of it just in case the rabbits happen to uh, to need some more of that. It's not like we don't have the staff to manage this kind of thing anyway, so it should be fine. And uh, I'm just noticing as well all the lights are actually going in. Let's go ahead and remove the uh, floor candle thing there. Dude, this is looking like a proper little... This is really starting to come together. I'm, I love this, man. I'm so pleased with it. We need to get a proper little town square at some point. I think that's that's the biggest thing we're missing right now. Is like a, a lot of decorative stuff in the middle here. But I really love how this is all coming together. I also need to put more fences at the back of all these buildings to stop bad guys from sneaking through there. It might also encourage my hearthlings to use the roads. Although I guess they sort of already are. Either way, it would be really cool. Also, chickens. We have uh, we have a chicken up here. Okay. I mean, fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, is this is this done yet? This is actually very very nearly done. I think it's got like one more thing to go in right there. And then this uh, little park is technically finished. Oh, no, there we go. I think that's it. Are they going to take the ladders down, though? Or do the ladders just, like, magically disappear on this one? I have no idea. I hope they... I hope the ladders go away, though, because this, this actually looks quite nice. Even though I realize I put a bird bath... I, I've, I've built a bird bath in the middle of winter, and it's completely frozen over. I'm sure it's fine. Spyro, it's gonna be fine, right? I love that Spy- I love that the animation for Spyro running is just the same as a cat. That seems about right. Spyro the dragon is just a... fiery cat. With wings. And horns. And glowing eyes, and... Let's not get into too many details here, but you get the idea. Oh, there we go, it's all gone. Oh man, that looks perfect. That looks perfect right there. And then we got our little... We got a little bug in there. That I can't click on. Oh no, what was the name? I think it was Fortitude. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Ladies and gentlemen, I think we're gonna leave it there for today. We got ourselves a shepherd. We got the air bloom for the rabbits. We got two buildings done and a little park done here. I'm not really sure what else we need to build. I mean, obviously, I think at this point we just wait for the 
Let me just check here. Is there a shepherd's building? I don't think there is. Fair enough. That's totally fine. I might, you know, I might build a, where is it? The cozy stone cottage. I might build a cozy stone cottage out here in the woods for the, uh, for the shepherd. I think that could be kind of neat to do. That might be a thing that we do as well. Maybe. We'll see. Either way, I'm not really sure what else we've got left to do other than get the Geomancer. So I assume it's going to be a waiting game. I assume we're going to have to wait for the next rabbit quest to come through. And I'm totally fine doing that. That's no big deal. I'm actually really enjoying seeing the progress of the nerds of the north and the little town here. We do also have to build up a town square. So we're not done yet. But we are, we are getting to a point where the game is definitely struggling. And, uh... There is a lot of waiting uh, still to do. But with that said, I mean, once we're done with the quests and all that, we can either re-embark or we can, you know, do some building work and try and build like a, some kind of fortress up here in the hill or something like that. We can, we can do things. We are by no means uh, forced to be done with the nerds in the north. So with that in mind, thank you kindly for watching. It's been my pleasure as always. And as always, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.